Aquarius, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa. Also, keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your replacements. What's the overall energy between Aquarius and the person Aquarius is connecting with or will be connecting with? Ooh, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. We also have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So, Aquarius, this could be you wanting to reconcile with someone. This could be somebody wanting to reconcile with you. All right. Obviously, it is it is possibly someone from your past, uh, especially with release your ex. So, let's see. How does Aquarius currently view this relationship? All right. You got the Five of Wands here, Leo, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, with the Queen of Wands, Aries. At the bottom of the deck, you do have Justice, Libra. I feel like there's someone here that you want to approach, and it could very well be this person over here. It doesn't necessarily mean um, that this is a female that you're approaching. It could be a male, so don't get caught up in gender. But it does kind of look like there's somebody here that you do want to approach and make amends with. Now, things could have definitely went south between you and this person. There could have been some sort of fire argument that took place, but I do feel like you want to gravitate towards this person and make things right between you and this person. However, there's a little bit of hesitation on your behalf here. You may kind of feel like this person might still be upset with you um, or may not want to come back together with you and make amends with you. We'll see. How does this person currently view this relationship with Aquarius? Keep in mind the energies could be vice versa. You got a Queen of Swords, the world. So Leo, Aqua, Taurus, also Scorpio could be dealing with a Libra. And then you got the Two of Wands here. So the both of you are sitting in feminine energy. Um, now this could be between two females, two males, a male and a female. It's just energies, right? I believe I said this to you already, Aquarius. I think I did, man. Um, because the both of you are sitting in feminine energy, the both of you are just kind of sitting back waiting for something to happen, essentially. Um, and it kind of looks like you feel more pulled to approach this person and have a conversation with this person than they do, right? Um, it does kind of look like for them, Aquarius, this person is choosing to kind of close this cycle out between you and them. And with that Four of Swords energy here, I feel like they're just simply making peace with the fact that things came to an end between you and them, and they're just moving into a place of acceptance here. But I don't feel like you're over it. I don't feel like you're over it. How does Aquarius feel about this relationship? You got the Eight of Cups, Pisces, Three of Cups, Cancer, with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Five of Swords along with the Six of Swords. Yeah, you really want to move past whatever transpired between you and this person. You don't like the, temp the, the tension between you and them. You don't like the conflict uh, between you and this person. And for some of you, it doesn't even look like the two of you are on speaking terms, and you don't like that either. And you really do want to move past this Aquarius. Again, it's like you want to leave the past in the past and come back together with this person and make amends with this person and just kind of pick up where you guys left off. That's what you're hoping for. That's what you want. How does this person feel about this relationship? You got the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Nine of Wands. Okay, so this person could be coming back around. Let's see. With the Queen of Cups, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Five of Cups along with... All right, this could be going somewhere here, okay? Because it kind of looks like this person's really disappointed with how things transpired between you and them. There is a level of sadness that's attached to all of this, and I just kind of feel like that all kind of stems from the simple fact that I do feel like this person does care about you, Aquarius, and I do feel like this person still has love for you, and they still do want to come back together with you, but, because there's always a but to all of this, they're not sure. 
they're not sure with that nine of wands energy they're not sure whatever happened between you and this person in the past here it really did affect this person so this is why this person's unsure if it's a good idea to come back around to you and work things out with you i think that their fear is that whatever happened between you and this person in the past is going to happen again and i feel like that's what they're worried about but outside of that I do see this person coming back together with you um, and working on this relationship. I do see that happening. What actions will Aquarius take towards this person? Or at least they feel the same way. You do. Yeah. You got temperance. Sad. I do like that. With judgment, Scorpio. And you got the Three of Pentacles again, Capricorn energy. Let's look at this person really quickly. What actions will this person take towards, Aquari wait, towards Aquarius and moving forward? They don't trust you. Let, let's just throw that out there. Whatever happened between you and this person, they don't trust you anymore. They don't trust you anymore. Let's start off with you first, and then we'll jump over to them. So, Aquarius, I feel like you're coming in, and you're doing the right thing. You are doing the right thing here. You really do want to work things out with this person. You really want to work towards a partnership between you and this person. I just feel like you want a second chance to make things right between you and this person. Um, and you're coming in with very good energy, and I feel like your intentions are absolutely pure. They don't seem to think so. That's 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 the thing. They don't seem to think so here. They don't really trust you anymore. Um, they don't. Because I feel like you're being... I feel like you're being really honest with this person. That you really do want to work on this relationship. Um, and you do want to make amends with them. And I do feel like you're being very honest. I do. They... They don't think so, though. Like I said, I feel like there is going to be some sort of exchange between you and this person. I do see that happening. But as far as whatever it is you're telling this person or saying to this person, they don't believe you. They, they don't believe a word that's coming out of your mouth. They don't believe you. They don't trust you anymore. And I feel like this has everything to do with what has transpired between you and this person in the past. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. So, the, yeah, it's a true pair situation. Now I got a king of wands with a queen of wands out here. With the nine of cups. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to believe. Let's go ahead and say that. I feel like they want to believe that you're really coming in to honestly work on this relationship with them. They want to believe it. They do want to believe you, Aquarius. But they just can't. And I feel like that has everything to do with whatever happened between you um, and them in the past. But they want to believe you. They just don't. Like, this person might even portray this image, because I'm also getting that, that they believe you, but they don't. They don't believe a word that you're saying. I feel like you're doing the right thing, Aquarius, by coming in to really clear the air with this person and work things out. They just don't believe that... You really want to work on a relationship with them. And the thing is, another thing that I'm also getting is that I don't even feel like they're going to tell you that. I don't even feel like they're going to tell you that. I feel like they're going to just keep it to themselves. It's kind of like, yes, there is going to be some sort of exchange and it is going to create balance to the situation all over again. But don't get it twisted. They don't believe anything that you're saying. And I don't even feel like they're going to even tell you that. I don't even think that they're going to tell you that. I think that they're just going to go along with it, to be honest. I see them just kind of going along with it, even though they don't really believe you. Um, any advice for Aquarius in regards to this spread? Okay. So we have love yourself first, let go of control issues, and then we also have worth waiting for. Yeah, I'm getting the nine of wands with, with this person, and I kind of feel like the message is honestly for them, right? Where this person, like I said, they're coming back together with you, and yes, they are working on this partnership here, but it kind of defeats the purpose, right? Because 
they don't, for one, believe a word that you're saying. And then, well, for two, they're still hung up on whatever happened between you and them in the past, which is understandable. And I feel like that's going to be addressed. But worth waiting for is very similar to like the four pentacles for me as a reader they're still being closed off to you they're still being closed off to this connection here and they don't believe a word that you're saying and on top of that i don't even feel like they're like expressing that much to you and we have you deserve love you are lovable with honeymoon very nice wow See, here's the thing. This relationship between you and this person can definitely lead to good places here. They're just creating a boatload of stagnancy to the equation here because they don't believe anything that you're saying and they have a hard time letting go whatever happened between you and them. And I feel like you're honestly doing the right thing by coming in and making amends with them and trying to clear the air with them. They don't seem to... They don't seem to be able to see it that way. They don't. For whatever reason. And listen, it depends on what you did, obviously. But if it's just like a big misunderstanding, that's a little extreme, you know? But outside of that, Aquarius, I kind of feel like this person, for one, needs to be a little bit more open here. It's kind of like, what is the point of making amends with somebody and coming back together with someone and just going along with it, even if you don't trust that person anymore? What is the point of that, you know? And I feel like that's exactly what they're going to do. And I feel like it's just going to create um, tension and conflict between you and this person later on down the line. Because, again, it's like you're doing the right thing by coming in and really healing the situation between you and this person. But they don't seem to think so. They don't seem to think so. Like I said, it could lead to good places, but that all depends on this person. That really all depends on this person. So, I would highly recommend that you do the right thing despite how this person chooses to kind of move forward here within this connection. Because there's really nothing that you can honestly do. There's nothing that you can honestly do here. It's like, this, this is that type of person that it's like, they need to kind of see it to believe it type of person. And again, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's like they need to see it to believe it. If you're going to come in and honestly make amends with this person, it needs to, like, it needs to be real. And the thing is that it is, though, but they don't seem to think so. So it's kind of like, you know, it's like beating a dead horse is what I'm saying, okay? So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.